Hi, this is Ashley Hubbard. In this video, we are talking about how to stop eating sugar and lose weight. And I'm going to give you five steps that you can follow. So if you're trying to kick the sugar habit and lose weight, make sure you watch this presentation from start to finish because these tips are very easy to learn. Don't forget to connect with me on Facebook. I have put my Facebook link in the description below the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up because that motivates me to make more content for you. Okay, let's get into the tips on how to stop eating sugar and lose weight. Tip number one, check nutrition labels on the foods that you purchase. If you wish to start eating less sugar to boost weight loss, you may want to check the nutrition labels on all the foods that you buy. You might not realise how much added sugar is in the foods that you eat every day. To help you, try to get into the habit of reading nutrition labels on all the products that you buy so you can check the sugar content. To help you eat less sugar, you should try to buy low sugar foods that have less than 6 grams of sugar per serving. Remember to also look at the serving size on foods as well. Usually there are multiple servings in one food package. So you'll eat a lot more sugar than you may have intended to do if you had the whole package at once. Tip number two, continue to eat natural sugar in healthy foods. To boost your weight loss and reduce your sugar intake in your diet, you should continue eating naturally occurring sugar. Daily sugar limits only refer to added sugars, not natural ones. This is because many foods that are very healthy like fruit and vegetables actually contain sugars. Naturally occurring sugars don't cause the same harm that added sugars do. This is why health recommendations only tell you to limit added sugars, not natural ones. In the US, guidelines from the FDA advise that food labels need to show both the total sugars and the added sugars in all foods. You need to pay attention to the added sugars section on the food package if you wish to cut back on the sugar in your diet. Now don't go anywhere because I still have some more tips to give you, but if you want a solution to help you boost your weight loss, make sure you go and click the link in the description box below this video now. It will then take you through to the website for the Atkins Diet Programme. The Atkins Diet Programme is an effective solution for weight loss. Here is another tip on how to stop eating sugar and lose weight. Tip number three, learn all the names for sugar so you can spot it in any food package that you purchase. If you are trying to stop eating foods that contain large amounts of sugar, try and learn all the names for sugar so you can spot it on any nutrition label. While nutrition labels should tell you all the added sugars of foods, you should also learn to recognise the names that sugar goes by. This way you can tell if a product has added sugars even if the amounts aren't listed. Some of the common sugar type names to look out for are glucose, fructose, sucrose and maltose. Some additives that contain a lot of sugar are molasses, honey, corn syrup and hydrolyzed starch. Tip number four, add your own sweeteners to any drinks that you have. Now to help you reduce your sugar intake and lose weight, you can add your own sweeteners instead of buying sweetened products. Manufacturers often pack their products with added sugars to improve the flavor. A good strategy is buying as many unsweetened products as you can and adding your own sugar. This way you can control the amount that you add and you'll probably need a lot less than the manufacturers would have added. To help you, you can measure your sugar out instead of pouring it in. One teaspoon is about four grams of sugar or about 12% of the daily recommended sugar serving. Try to only add one to two teaspoons to stay within the daily limit. Tea and coffee are usually packed with sugar if you buy them already sweetened. If you add your own sugar, you can reduce your sugar intake. Remember to keep a close eye on how much sugar you add. It's very easy to overdo it. Tip number five, cut down on dessert items as much as you can. To boost weight loss and reduce your sugar intake, try to avoid dessert items as much as you can. Desserts are probably the first thing that comes to mind when you think of high sugar foods, and for good reason. These food items are packed with sugar, so try and get as few as possible to stick with your low sugar diet. 
If you still want to have some desserts, remember to check the nutrition labels and try to find products that have less sugar than other dessert items. Remember that most desserts are high in sugar though. Try to save dessert foods for celebrations or special occasions. Little cheat days now and then can help keep you motivated. Now let me turn it over to you. Which tip from the video are you going to use first? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now. So now, if you want an effective solution to help you eat less sugar and lose weight, I recommend you take a look at the Atkins Diet Programme. Please make sure you click the link in the description box below now. It will then take you through to the website for the Atkins Diet Programme. You can then have a look at the program, choose the best plan for you and get started. I hope this video helps you. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and please turn on notifications so that you get notified about new videos. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and leave some love in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.